Welcome, everybody, to the latest episode of the Interventional Endoscopist Podcast. I'm your host, Lynn Cubble Suchthave. And today I'm doing an interview with a good friend of mine, uh, Scott Hack. We had on your podcast Endosound, you know, and I, I think that's the logical next breakthrough in EUS. As EUS continues to grow, um, you know, it's expensive. And everything, you were cutting costs, cutting costs, cutting costs. And this is one of the few, I would say, novel examples of a cost-cutting measure to where you're not cutting the innovation out of it. Absolutely. Um, the visualization is phenomenal. Um, yeah, I, I was one of the first to test it about three and a half years ago in our lab at Case Western Reserve University here in, in Cleveland, Ohio. And I know you know that well because your daughter's going to be yeah. playing soccer there here uh, this year. Um, so, but we tested it about three and a half years ago and I was really mostly concerned about the visualization and we had it on a little monitor and the visualization was great. And I said, Hey, do we have another you know, monitor? And they said, yeah, we have like a 60 inch TV. We'll bring that in. Let's, let's test it and let's hook it up. I wanted to see if it pixelated in a, in a bigger area and the visualization and was the optics was just as good on that big screen as it was on that little screen. So it never pixelated. So from that standpoint, the, the Endosound product to me is a, is a really exciting product in the marketplace and one that we can grow from. No, it's, it's a game changer. I mean, just for something, their first generation, the first iteration that most of us are getting our hands on, I mean, is so good that you can only imagine what one year down the road or two years down the road with more investment and more higher end technology as it goes into what, what it's going to look like. And actually, I, I, I think it's the future. And, you know, you know, you and I have talked offline so many times about ambulatory surgical centers and, and mm -hmm. where it, we can bring in there. And I think um, this is a true disruptor um, in, in, in EUS, at least, or an interventional endoscopy. And I think um, uh, my biggest fear is that if they or whenever they get acquired, that whatever company gets them shelves it in order to sell their main platform. And I hope that whenever they get to that point of their uh, evolution, that the company gets them is really committed and, you know, puts all the resources into making this because I, I mean, at least 60 to 70% of our endoscopic ultrasounds do not need to be done in a hospital. You know, where the cost, it, the EOBs, like I said, of pockets are anywhere between ten to $20,000, depending on what they're doing. And, you know, you, you can do it for Medicare rate of $832, you know, so. Um, right. right. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we, I think our country, and we're not getting into politics here, but we spend more money than any other country per capita on healthcare here. And uh, we don't need to be doing that. We can do things much more efficiently and much more cost effectively and, and get better outcomes too, so. Totally agree. Totally agree. 